In this video, we're going to be seeing if a cooling pad actually improves the performance of a gaming laptop. To help us test this, we're going to be using the ASUS Zephyrus G14, which is a 14-inch compact gaming laptop, and due to its small size, does get pretty hot and can do with some help. To reduce a bit of temperature, I have CPU boosting disabled, which means the fastest clock rate the CPU can reach is 2.9 GHz. And I was wondering if we could take that reduction further with the help of a cooling pad. In a sea of flashy designs, the cooling pad I ended up going for is one from Cooler Master, mainly because of its understated design. What's also cool about this cooling pad is that you can relocate the fans depending on the design of your laptop, and more precisely direct the airflow to where it's needed the most. The way I'll be conducting this test is through F1 2021's benchmark mode, as it's able to put consistent strain on both the CPU and GPU. Even though it's a more dated game, it's still quite a lot to handle for a laptop with these specs. Starting off with placing the laptop on a desk, the CPU hits an average of 89 degrees Celsius, which is extremely hot, and that's also with some throttling on the CPU, as the average clock rate is around 2.2 GHz. With the cooling pad below, the temps of the CPU drop by 1 degree, which doesn't seem like much, but the clock speed improves substantially to 2.8 GHz. That means the CPU clock speed is around 22% faster, while still being marginally cooler. A similar situation occurs with the GPU. Without the cooling pad, the GPU averages around 88 degrees Celsius and around 975 MHz in clock speed. With the cooling pad, the temperature averages around 1.5 degrees cooler. However, what's more exciting is the average clock speed improving by over 21% to around 1,250 MHz. This result is even faster than what a stock 2060 Max-Q is capable of achieving during boost, and that's all possible due to the extra cooling. The improvements in both the CPU and GPU temps and speeds translates to a 10% improvement in FPS, as without the cooling pad, the game averaged around 107 FPS, while with the cooling pad, the average was around 120 FPS. So a cooling pad does make a difference in my test and with my setup, and in conjunction with regularly cleaning your laptop, I think could be quite an effective combination to reduce temperature and extract more performance from your hardware. 